Void go. What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo for this last part of April? Are you guys in this place of healing? Kind of look on, looking over the past, but you know what? You guys are setting that groundwork. You you putting in that groundwork. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time watching my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out, y'all. I cuss. They cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. All right? You guys, well, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family, baby. We don't fight and fuss. We be that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We enlighten. We evolve. Posy vibes only over here. Returning subscribers. What's up, family? What's up, gang? What's going down? Y'all ready for bull season? Because, you know, y'all Virgos tend happen to like. Some of y'all tend to like them tours. Hmm. Hmm. Don't, don't get quiet now. Say a lot for the people in the back. But, you know, you guys have been feeling, even when meditating on your energy, I feel that watery. Now, I don't know if this has to do with um, this retrograde. I don't know if it has to do with possibly new love. But I really felt this energy of, oh, bitch, I'm fine. I had to reapply my lip gloss and everything. Like, bitch, I'm fine, bitch. Like, do you see me? <laughs> I'm cousin fine, okay? So, you guys, I'm really, 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 really ecstatic to be sitting here doing your energy, guys. I don't know. With Aquarius, I was just lit. I got to Virgo, and I felt I was sexy. I felt I was loving. And I was just like, you know what? I want to turn up, but you know what? I'm going to wait for it. So wait a minute. Just let the people wait. So I don't know if that's how you guys are feeling, but I like it, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, this will be for my... Oh, you guys, thanks for the, the, the likes, the share, the subscribes. I really appreciate you guys. Gang, gang, family. We growing, okay? Um, also, this is not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Vertigo. My mother, mother, cousins. All right? Let's rock. So we're going to start with your intuitive messages first, you guys. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe does not fit, if it's too big, you're going to fall. So don't try and put it on if it ain't for you. That's not your fucking shoe. Not your point. Put it down. Put it down. Okay? We're going to rock. So intuitively, the messages that I picked up for Virgo for the mid, last, <laughs> I'm late part of April for 2019 is obsession, self-worth, confidence, windfalls, karma, Lessons in love, abundance, detox, diet change, come on Virgo, health scare, new vehicle, travel, divine protection, jealousy, life purpose, keep your business quiet, synchronicity, new love, Life cycles, past life, resistance, heart chakra, father, mother, control, root chakra, ancestors. Okay? So if any of the intuitive messages did resonate with you, let's talk about it. Okay? So the angel message that you guys received for this last half of April was... Y'all, even a damn Virgo lady on this card. Like, and it's funny because the, the lighting was bad. Aquarius couldn't even see that card. You see how sexy this woman look? She looking like, mm, bitch, I know I'm yummy. Yummy for your tummy. Y'all, I love y'all energy right now. It's so harmonious. It's all, you know, y'all number six, and that's my life path. So they have to do with the harmony. And it's just like a, oof. Go find me a Virgo part time this part of the year. I like this shit. Y'all, this, 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 this is how y'all feeling. I need to be around. I need some more Virgo friends in my personal life. Damn it. All right? So you guys got, your message comes from Archangel Raphael. It has, um, I'm sorry. Let me show y'all your angel message. Healthy lifestyle. 
Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health, okay? So I feel like, and I felt that with the diet change. When I spoke about the diet change, I re I literally see um, a lot of you guys may be in this place of working out. Some of you guys may just simply be changing what it is that you eat, uh, watching what it is that you consume, and just kind of being mindful of how much uh, you indulge during this time, okay? All right, spirit messages. Some of you guys are focusing on abundance during this time. There's a need for you guys to exercise your heart chakra. You may do so, Virgos, by getting out in nature, okay? Some of you guys also have been getting intuitive hits, intuitive messages from your ancestors, okay? For some of you all, it's been coming in, in the form of sleep space. Some of y'all been astral traveling and will be astral traveling. For those of you who astral travel, please ground and protect your body space here, okay? Don't leave your damn body wide open and your ass out in the damn uh fourth and fifth dimension just having the time of your fucking life trying to align some shit up to go in the 3d that that you ain't been able to handle but look here don't leave your body open okay but <clears throat> some of you guys may be in this space during this time of really making your next move your best move there's a need for you guys to be silent about your plans do not tell others your plans some of you guys may be needing to go out and actually put your room within nature like actually sit the ass, sit your ass on the grass because i also see um this grounding that needs to happen with some of you all okay some y'all um they're, they're, it's like the root chakra is also if you having dreams that you're murdering your damn kids your son, your, your son and your daughter that you just argued with two days ago, strangled your ass in your sleep. There's a need for you guys to center yourself, okay, and really, really, really um, kind of put a little bit more focus in that heart chakra and in that root chakra, okay, because the root chakra has to do with your foundation. If your, if your foundation is off, every fucking thing is off because order, structure, everything starts within the foundation, you know? So for some of you all, some of y'all are going to find abundance and like find some type of expansion from some of the things that you actually heard of within your past. Some of you guys could also be thinking about writing a book during this time and I feel like it has to do more so with you as a healer and your path and I definitely see you being abundant in doing so. I also heard ebook so that does save um you may want to look into the ebook process because I do know it saves a bit money as far as the publishers as well as the time. So with the publishing and the time, I believe it's just a quicker process. So you may want to look into the ebooks and I know those ebooks can actually be purchased on Amazon because I bought a few ebooks as well, especially when it comes to like the law of attraction and things of that nature. Speaking of which, a lot of you guys may be practicing the law of attraction. Some of you guys are using some type of combustion between earth elements and water in order to manifest. Okay, so some of y'all could also be using, uh, learning how to manifest uh, with using like cups of water. Some of you guys are also going to be learning how to read energy, like as far as like for those of you who do any type of energy clearing, especially if you use any form of like eggs for absorbance, but some of you guys are really needing to cleanse your energy. And it starts, and I'm hearing for some of you all that have to do with your home. Some of y'all need to, some of y'all really need to clean your, um, excuse me. Some for those of you who do any type of spiritual practice outside, like inside of your home, and like you have people come to your home for your spiritual practice or for your work. Some of you guys during this time are really needing to watch or like 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 do some type of clearing over your home. And for some of you guys, some for some of y'all, y'all got my nose itching. Some of you guys, thank you, spirit. Some of you guys could have recently reconciled with someone who um does some type of like elemental work or like some type of esoteric work this person could also do straight up fucking magic okay um there, some of y'all invited this person to your home like the second week of april like and it's the reason why it's meant for me to be late some of y'all it was meant for me to be late for you guys some of y'all need to cleanse your home <clears throat> it's something about oh they don't even want me to tell you some about sometimes somebody left something in if you find something strange or odd i'm hearing that it's somewhere amongst a bookshelf uh, if you have a bookshelf in your home where you keep like your feng shui look around that bookshelf you're gonna find something that's very interesting that, that some motherfucker left in your house and they didn't leave it with the best intention okay and so i'm feeling like for some of you guys there's been nudges you've been dreaming about your home or like for some reason you've been dreaming about you walking through your home and you don't quite know why spirit your, your spirit guides are trying to lead you to get some shit out of your home because someone put something in your home to block you or stop you or something of that nature it's like something I'm, I'm feeling the energy of like a watchman someone trying to watch what the fuck you doing and i feel like this is for someone for some of y'all this is someone of the opposite sex kind of like a friend of me you think this person has your best interest some of y'all is actually this is a love interest that's trying to keep you bonded or stuck 
Okay? Y'all know we go there. So if I see it and I pick up a piss and y'all, if I want to beat them up, I really want to yeah, huh, want to fight them. But I got to get over it because I didn't like that feeling. Some of y'all, okay? And then some of y'all really need to practice um, exercising your throat chakra as well because for some of you all, you're looking over like past behaviors. You're looking over past patterns, past cycles. For some of you all, you find like you're, you're in this place of, you know, like why is it that I keep attracting people who make me feel as if I need, I need to be validated by them or why am I attracting people who make me, who want to, who find their power in making me feel less than? Or why am I attracting people who try to project their fears onto me every time I choose to get up and go live my best self? For some of you all, it has to do with the past life, resistance, okay, as well as a confidence, uh, confidence issue. You cannot, how, before you listen to other people, and I really want y'all to hear me out on this shit. Before you listen to other people, please peep and peep, peep game on the fruits and the harvest in their life the fruits that they've sown and the harvest in which they receive it how the fuck are you going to tell me not to do anything positive is only if only thing that you see in your life is negativity motherfucker because you do shit like this project conversations like this out you don't you can't you can't possibly believe in me because you don't even believe in yourself so for them type of people bring it back down quiet that noise during this time mm. <laughs> Can you, I just need you to, you're doing this, I need you to do this, okay? That type of energy. Some of you all may be going over, um, some of you guys may be reliving um, some type of childhood cycle during this time having to do with your father, okay? Or some of you guys could also be noticing the pattern between, if you have, like, healing from some type of abandonment issue that you had around your father, maybe you guys are noticing the cycle between your father and the father of your children, or uh, maybe your mother, I'm also hearing mother and the mother of your children, and the cycles around that, and for some of you all, your ancestors are trying to assist you in breaking ancestral curses, okay? For some of you all. Because I definitely feel a cycle and a curse is something completely fucking different. Cycles can actually be curses can be broken too, but they one one takes one takes. <clears throat> I feel like ambition and a little bit more, you know, um, acknowledgement. Both take acknowledgement, but one takes a, a little bit more work than the other. Okay, and for some of you all, you were your your purpose. You were trained. You're a mutable sign. Your purpose was to come here and transmute that energy but for some of you all if you you weren't really moving and this is not me pointing the finger this is just me saying what it is you know because i don't come here to cater to the damn ego i come here to cater to the soul i'm a healer baby so i'm not gonna see it no other way and i'm and i'm willing to die for that you understand so with that said <clears throat> this is not me offending anybody because if you know mocha you know go back to the history of this channel i love me some y'all asses okay but i will say Someone needs to get out of this energy of pointing the finger so that they can truly heal. Because for some of you all, this is kind of how you've grown up. And you'll know if you fall within this cycle of having to break an ancestral curse during this time. And it is standing up for yourself. And actually not only standing up for yourself, but believing in that shit like you believe in waking up the next day. Because for some of you all, that's how you manifest. You're a visionary. You got to see. You have to believe it in order to see it. I hate when people say you gotta see in order to believe. No, because if you ain't fucking believing, how you if you don't believe, how you gonna see? Where's the intention in that? Give me. Okay, so for some of you all, there's a massive healing going on when it comes to dealing with the father figure, some type of balance in it, okay? And for some of you all, it has it is tied to a past life. Okay, so for some of you all, you really need to trust the synchronicities in which you're seeing. Going back to that ancestral curse, you'll know if you fall in alignment with that, especially if you have mutable signs, mutable children, okay? Um, and this is like kind of like God's way of saying, you know, a little backup, all right? If you have a Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini child, you may want to check into the, the patterns and the cycles within your family. Okay, if you have all of y'all have um, issues with uh, maybe the father, <clears throat> excuse me, prevalently being there. Okay, and this is something that affects your siblings, children, your children, your children. I mean, th th there has to be some type of recognition to a cycle, acknowledgement, and to know where the foundations need to be laid and where the work needs to be done. So I feel like a lot of you all will be in this space of actually 
finding, acknowledging, rebuilding, restructuring those foundations during this time. Okay. Um, and this could also be your father figure, someone's father, okay, or trying to come in and mend fences. Okay, but there's a there there's this need of there's this mending fences that is trying to occur here. That is going to bring abundance because it's going to bring you into the energy of receiving and allowing. Okay, and for some of you all you've been in that space, but I definitely feel like for some of y'all you really don't even see this coming. Okay. Which is why you you intuitively kind of feel it, you know, you feel it happening, but you really don't, you kind of not wish, which, 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 like you're not sure which way to exactly go with it. And I definitely feel like things are aligning for you. Some of you guys are really needing to get by a big body of water during this time, but there may be some massive download coming to you uh, to assist you in knowing which direction to move forward with going forward. Um as far as your purpose. But for those of you who are thinking of some type of business endeavor, I do see it looking successful, okay? It's going to come with this sense of fulfillment, but it's going to come in expense to the wisdom that you had to learn from your past. It's becoming a master of both your light shadow, your light self and your shadow self and understanding the importance of both and how to maneuver through both. If you ain't master both areas, what is you doing? Because you can't, if you have not mastered the darkness, how the fuck can you maneuver your way through the light and be successful at it? So it's not for you to beat yourself up. It's for you to be grateful for the wisdom that you've attained through this path because ultimately it's going to bring you blessings moving forward. Abundance, boo. All right? So let's dig into this love. Let's see what's going on with my sisters and love. For this last half of April, Spirit, what messages? Do you have some beautiful Virgos, cousins, and love from mid as well as the end of April 2019? What can they expect in love? Okay, so some of y'all, right? Like, <clears throat> some of you guys have new beginnings, possibly with okay, a fire sign, or for some of you all, this have to do with sorry, for some of you all, this have to do um. With a newfound sense of like an equal give and take, okay? For some of you all, there can be a new beginning moving forward with an earth sign. I definitely feel like someone has to balance things out or someone could be in the energy of balancing things out as far as being in a healthy relationship as well as not making family feel as if, you know, they're kind of being neglected along the way. Some of you guys could also be starting something new, some type of business endeavor, okay? I definitely feel like there's an energy of keeping it to yourself. Some of y'all could also be wanting to start something with someone who could possibly be married to a fire sign or some to have some type of attachment to a fire sign and reveal that it's here. But I feel like this person is giving to two energies, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, cancel. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. I definitely feel like there is a, like there there's a new beginning trying to take place, but there are so um, some secrets that are going to be unfolding, especially if this person has is attached to some type of mother, uh, some type of child's mother or child's father. For some of y'all, you you wanting to embark upon this new beginning with this water sign. However, this person is still attached, okay, to uh, possibly the mother or father of their children. Some of y'all are going to be finding out if you're dealing with the Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Aries, or a um. Another Virgo like yourself, the secret is, is that this person cannot equally give and take with you because they equally, because they give into this damn Queen of Wands, this Aries Leo, Sag, Aries Leo Sagittarius, with this Emperor card. I have the Emperor and the Emperor. So some of y'all could actually be going into union secretly. You're just not telling no damn body. Some of y'all could also be during this time going to go elope somewhere. Somebody's eloping, all right? But for some of you all, some of you guys are going to be finding out that somebody has a whole nother family or someone has someone pregnant. And this is why they've been kind of gone missing and not equally giving the time to you that you deserve. Okay. For some of you all, this could be someone who you could have moved away from. Some of y'all could also be moving away from a fire sign due to lies and deceit and little shit. But I definitely feel like it's ultimately it's happening for you, not to you, because situ the situation seems stagnant or seemed as if it wasn't going to get off the ground. Some of you guys are going to be moving away. Some of y'all are, some of you guys, and I feel like this is the external energy. If you're dealing with a fire sign, every little Sagittarius, and this person, um, you guys were doing something new, okay, or working on something new, and this person just moved forward, the secret is this person still has some type of uh, karma or something, 
like something to close out or wrap up possibly with the mother or father of their children before things can really successfully get off the ground with you two. Okay. I definitely have the emperor and the empress here. Okay. So y'all Taurus Aries. I have Leo Sag. Strong fire in this in this thing. I have everybody's here except for air. I don't have air yet. Okay. But I definitely you know, spoke too damn soon. Some of you, guys, <laughs> some of you guys could actually be uh, possibly cutting off a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you're just standing your ground with this person because I definitely feel like for some of you guys, this is a relationship that you have put in a lot of effort into trying to hold together. Okay, but for some of you all, oh, okay, some of y'all are kind of in suspense. Possibly behind the Taurus, okay? This person is kind of indecisive upon moving forward with you because this person is going to have to tell you the truth. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus that got a Taurus or a Libra for sure that has someone um, pregnant on the side, okay? This person could be a new father. Um, for some of you all, this is going to be a catalyst situation to move you towards this damn cancer, okay? Or this damn Gemini who where pride is stopping shit from moving forward. Because I definitely feel like some of you guys are very passionate. You want to move forward towards an Aquarius Libra Gemini. However, both of y'all stubborn as hell and there is no security in their relationship. A whole lot of love, but not a lot of security. Because somebody feels like the other person is going to up and leave as soon as they get mad. Okay? Um, for some of you all, again, they go that damn, can I tell y'all asses, the fucking lovers? Some of you guys, again, some of you guys are wanting to move forward or there's a Gemini getting ready to move toward your ass or a Cancer getting ready to move toward your ass because they in love. They love them some cousin. But you want to stay stuck in situations, okay? You are another person who just does not want to let you. Somebody is holding on to y'all damn energy like a damn parasite, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with the Earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, like yourself. For some of y'all, this have to do with a Water sign. Some y'all, even if you're dealing with water, some y'all dealing with two water signs. Some y'all are leaving a Pisces, okay, that is connected to some type of family dynamic. Some y'all are leaving a Libra Taurus that is connected to some type of family dynamic. And some y'all are moving towards Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person also has to cut off somebody. I feel like it was two third-party situations that I was picking up, okay? For some of you all, you have a twin flame that is a Gemini. Some of y'all got a twin flame. That's a Libra. What prevented you guys from going into union before? For some of you all, it was finances. For others of you, it was <clears throat> another person and you being tied to someone else. Some of you guys, there is passion in a relationship and some type of union. I feel like this has to do with marriage, okay, or some form of commitment. There is passion. However, someone's fucking bored. They're bored. They're bored. So if you have had issues with infidelity, it's because someone sexually they're bored spicing it up a little bit you guys need to talk about that okay for some of you all who are tied to a cancer pisces scorpio okay i feel like there there is a lot of love in this situation but someone is especially if someone had a partner before you that was a taurus that Taurus did damage control on this person's mental because whomever this person is, they feel as if, woe is me, I can't make it, what's coming next, I'm, this person is victimized. Now, it's not for you to throw your damn cape on like, dun da 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 top flight security in this motherfucker. It's not for you to do that. It is for you to listen to this person, but definitely listen for the right things because for some of you all, the shit that this person is going to be throwing out during this time is definitely things that you recently healed from. And Spirit is saying this is a test because for some of y'all, your new beginning actually lies with the fire sign. This person was only a catalyst to make you let go of some shit that wasn't meant for you anymore or your partner. Okay? Um, For others of you, if this is pertaining to work, and those for some of you who are, some of y'all could also have been, some of y'all could have moved away from a job because you actually worked with um, someone who you're trying to move away from in real life. I definitely see you being very abundant moving forward to your finances going to look good. Some of y'all are on the brink of a new beginning, but it's going to be at the expense of someone else being hurt. Rather it's you or the other person's you, okay? But I definitely feel that. Some of y'all are in relationships, okay, that 
you, you're getting new starts, but your new start is definitely going to affect someone else. All right. I definitely feel like some of y'all were either given to two situations and there's a need for this balance to be restored here so that you can have ultimate fulfillment and get out of the damn energy of indecisiveness, feeling like you got to be watching over your shoulder or feeling like you got to be, you know, watching what the hell you post because somebody else's significant other could come for you. No, we get out of that damn energy. We're going to end. We, we're not doing that. We're embracing the energy of love. And for some of you all, this has to do with Twin Flame, with that 1111. For some of you all, who is a water sign or a fire sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Aries Leo Sag, for some of y'all, y'all got a Twin Flame that is an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're moving away from karmic partners during this time, releasing burdens. And yeah, it's going to hurt. It is going to hurt because what people don't know about Virgo is that you guys try to see the fairness in every situation and try to think about how, how your choices is going to affect everyone else. But from what I'm seeing here, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. Why not be happy and actually chase your heart, baby, and drop down and put down burdensome situations that you don't see going nowhere? You don't, you, you, God didn't told you. Your angels didn't told you, your dreams, your ancestors, for some of you all, your children. And then this catalyst situation comes through, boom, snatch your ass off your feet. And you don't know what to do at this point because it's, 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 it's making you release, release that control. And this situation here, Virgo has no control over anything. Which kind of puts you in this place of, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Some of y'all have somebody, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's getting ready to leave someone else. Because for some of y'all, this they could be finding out that this person is pregnant. I feel like this person could have actually left them before. And this person is now they come to find out this person is having a baby and it's not theirs. Catalytic situations to cut shit up so that Virgo can live their best life. Allow the towers to fall because they bring in abundance. Okay, so don't try to force it. Don't try to control it. Don't try to, you know, try and throw and throw your cape on over here because it's happening for you, not to you. This Jupiter retrograde is fast. Understand the planet of Jupiter is what the karmic reward planet. You reap what you sow, literally. You understand? If you sow nothing but beautiful seeds, baby, it's harvest time. And for some of you all, it's coming at the expense. Of someone else who ain't sold no damn seeds. But does that prevent you and your divine counterpart from being together? Because both of y'all been big seeds sowing and it's time to ascend? No, it doesn't. Is it for you to feel guilty for? No, it's not. That's not your part. Allow God to do God's part. Okay? So this is what I have for my babies, my vodgos, for the end of April. You guys, let me know how this resonates, because this is some crazy shit. I see why y'all loud love and shit. Oh, Mocha. I, ooh, girl, I got to love on me and keep my peace, girl. Shit, it's a, 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 a little love here, a little love there. You know, I ain't never judging. We family. But you're going to have to make a decision. And the decision that you make, let it not be based on hurt, disappointment, or a fear of what could happen because of your past. Okay, so y'all know I send you nothing but peace and blessings, much love and light. Namaste, baby. I will see you guys for the month of May. Bye, y'all.